Hello everybody and welcome to another how-to video. This is going on to the second part of the purchase order system uh, showing you how to actually implement the changes. So if, whether you're with the Wyosoft brand or with the Rental Tracks brand anywhere in the world, this new feature is going to help you out with your sub hires um, and with working with other people to meet your client's demand. So what we need to do, we've gone through the settings. If you haven't seen that yet, go back and watch the settings video so that your system is set up to be able to use these functions. But first, I want to show you how to put it into an order. So I'm going to go create a new order. We'll pick our order type, just like we've done many, many times before. We'll put in our our client. So in this case, we'll put rental tracks in as the client. And then I'm just going to skip everything and scroll down to the bottom. So what I want to do is put in a product. So what happens here, I'll select a different date range so that I can show you it with a uh, an available product. Scroll down. I'm going to enter my jukebox. So what I see here, this is the rental jukebox. It shows I have 30 of 30 available. When I select it, I get a new field populated here called sub hire. So what's going to happen, let's say I'm renting 50 of these jukeboxes. The system's automatically going to calculate the difference. So I had 30 available, so which means I need 50 minus 30 is 20, 20 to sub hire from somebody else. Your client is just going to see the 50 jukeboxes. They just want to know that you're meeting their needs, but you're going to get the paperwork to reflect the 50 that you have and the 50 that you're renting from somebody else. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll up to the top and save this order. Okay. So order 262 has been created. I can then see if I take a look at my internal sheet, we can then see the difference here. I can see SKU number 31, quantity I've got 50, and my sub higher quantity I've got 20. So I can see the difference here as to which pieces I need to rent. So 20, quantity of 50 from me, or total for the client, sorry, and 20 sub higher quantity. What also happens, I can go to products, and I now have a purchase order set up. So I can go here and I can look at my purchase orders. So I'm looking for order number 262, which is right here at the top, it shows me order 262 I've done a sub hire from Vision Designs. If I click on it, it shows me the supplier that I got the products from. If I had a project that I was associated to or an order that I had associated to, I can have it listed there. If I scroll down, I can see the product I'm sub hiring from them is the jukebox. I need 20 of them. My price is at 45 and once again if you've seen the the how-to video on the settings, you'll be able to see how that is calculated as well. The date the last date that it is used, the date is expected return, and I can also track my status. So this is going to be able to help you um, move along with the purchase order. So if you need to order the pieces and let your supplier know first, you can set it to, to be ordered. Once it's been ordered, you can follow the progression, change it to ordered. Once you receive it, so on and so forth. Whether there's a complaint about the products you've received, you've returned them, or you've completed and it is approved. Once you've done that, you've gone through the purchase order system. Um, that's how you're going to go through the system when you uh, have added a item to an order. You can also use just create a brand new purchase order. So if I click to create a brand new purchase order, I can then type in the supplier that I want. So I can look up Vision Designs. This isn't associated with any order. I'm going to say adding new products. Okay. So what I want to do here is say maybe I want to add more jukeboxes to my inventory. I can then select to add 10 quantity of 10 to my order. Once I set it to completed and approved, it will update my inventory, my stock levels, adding 10 jukeboxes to my stock. So you can update your stock using the purchase orders as well as meet your client's needs. If you have any questions about the new system, please feel free to call us 888-925-6236, 888-925-6236 for the rental track system, or you can send us an email info at rentaltracks.com or info at wyosoft.com. You can always use the green support bar on the right hand side to send us a message as well or check us out online www.rentaltracks.com or www.wyosoft.com. Thanks and have a great day.